You may have seen the video about Pocket SMS, an app that allows people who are both deaf and blind to communicate using SMS on a smartphone. That is only the first step in our effort to help such people with extreme disabilities communicate. We would like very much that others participate in this effort. And so let us tell you a little bit about our plans on taking this forward. Speaking in this mode, the phone speaks text written by a deaf blind user via graffiti or similar keyboard. People who are deaf may also find it hard to speak intelligibly, whom this feature would help in speaking even without a caregiver present. Listening. When this feature is activated, a short length of speech is picked up by the microphone of the smartphone, converted into text and conveyed to the user via vibrations in Morse code. To the extent that the inbuilt speech to text is accurate, this will allow a deafblind person to have some idea of what is being said around and to her. Combining text to speech and speech to text in this way allows people who were excluded by disability to participate in some extent in regular conversation with others on their own. Learning Wikipedia is known for providing the latest information on large number of subjects in standard format. Our plan is to make Wikipedia accessible to deaf blind over a smartphone. The app picks up only the useful text on the page leaving out the images and reads it to the user. In effect, this would be equivalent to transferring a deaf blind person from the dark ages with very little information available to a far better position. Publishing We chose for ourselves the name Bidirectional Access Promotion Society because we are firmly of the opinion that access isn't just about receiving information as in television. We believe that people who are severely disabled should be able to publish information, ask questions and the like. For deafblind people who can only access small amounts of text through vibration and morse because it does take a long time, Twitter is a perfect medium for this and so Providing access to Twitter is a high priority for us. While this sounds a lot, this still is only scratching the surface. Our ability to further project hinges on support from you as we are providing these apps and doing the development and training for free. You can help us in designing the software, writing code, making contact with people who are deaf and blind and would like to try out this software participating in their training or by simply making a donation. We look forward to your ongoing support.